We have conducted the most significant non-governmental investigations, frankly, in recent American history, if not. We uncovered the Clinton emails. We uncovered key information <laughs> about Benghazi, tying the White House to the big lies about Benghazi, creating the leading to the creation of Select Committee. Uh, the FBI followed our lead in terms of the criminal investigation or uh, matter of Hillary Clinton. And certainly, um, Mrs. Clinton wasn't indicted uh, officially, but there was a measure of accountability on Election Day, and certainly if the voters were sitting as a grand jury, you know what their, ver their verdict was on Election Day. And we didn't do it because we wanted, I didn't know Hillary Clinton was going to run for office. But we did it because we had a right to these records under the law, and Mrs. Clinton thought she was above the law. She came into office immediately, and despite warnings from security people in the State Department, she thought she was going to do all of her business in private. And we know what she was trying to cover up. And she knew what the laws were. She knew what FOIA was. She knew what the requirements were for keeping your emails. She knew what the requirements were for classified information. She thought she was going to get away with it. And she thought if anyone had to get her emails, they were going to have to go through her lawyer well after she was president of the United States. Well, it turned out very differently for her, didn't it? And everyone thinks who she's out of the woods yet, I think, is naive. But I think the reason she's not out of the woods yet is the vociferous attacks on the president. It shows you that they are very nervous uh, that if things settle down and the law enforcement focus became regular, someone like Hillary Clinton would still be facing significant criminal liability. And so the reaction to the loss, you know, the criminal class in many ways lost on election day last year. And the reaction to that is to, again, abuse the powers of government to go after the duly elected president of the United States. So they created what I call the unicorn theory of the election, that the Russians somehow hacked the election and the, uh, Donald Trump was in collusion with the Russians, ignoring the fact that the only specific information we had about foreign money going into someone's personal coffers was uh, related to Mrs. Clinton, for which she still needs investigation. And because uh, the, the hardcore left controls the levers of government and the media, they were able to create this scenario uh, where the president would be facing criminal liability and potential impeachment. And if they can't get him, they'll get his family. And believe me, if the, we thought a president, Republican, had done anything wrong, we'd be first things, we'd be first out of the gate saying, hey, there needs to be an investigation, there needs to be an independent investigation, there should be consideration of impeachment, congressional hearings and such. Uh, but it's obvious nothing went on. It's obvious. So we're facing this crisis where they're breaking the rules, illegally leaking. Devin Nunes, uh, one of the few members of the House who is kind of a whistleblower because he figured out by reviewing uh, in, uh, materials at the White House, intelligence materials, that the Obama gang was unmasking and spying on individual citizens in arguably an unlawful way. And of course, they were leaking classified information and violating the privacy of those citizens. So does anyone, would, does anyone think that a president who would allow his IRS to target his political enemies and suppress an entire political movement against him would think twice about using the intelligence apparatus to, same, to spy on these same individuals and people? and political opposition both in his party and outside his party? Of course not. 